Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. How much dread can I actually hold in my body at one time? Um, So today's my dentist appointment. (laughs) Let's just all have a moment of silence and prayer. For Sadie TMI Cherico, I am so friggin' just, I don't want to go, but then I want to go to get it over with, but then I don't want to go because, like, my cavities aren't even bothering me, so, like, I really would feel better if, like, I was in agony. <laughs> so, anyways, finally, my dentist appointment's back on. If, if, if you feel like I've been talking about it forever, it's because I have, because it got canceled and rescheduled, you know, these two months of corona quarantine. And someone the other day um, even said, how is your dentist even doing your cavities? I didn't think they were allowed to drill. Like, I don't know. And I was like, well, hey, my dentist apparently is over this bullshit. And she's opening up and going back to work regardless. And my appointment is today. So (laughs) I think it's good advice. Everybody should just do what they want. I know, well, I mean... Besides going to the dentist for the rest of the day, I'm going to do what I want. But that's the thing. When you, don't, when you hate something, that's the mind trick. <laughs> excuse, me while, excuse me while I shuffle. That's the mind trick. You have to say to yourself, I want this. So, um, like, I, do I want my teeth dark looking, cavity looking? Because they're not bothering me, but they look dark. You know what I mean? My molars are dark in the center um it's like well I have to tell myself that I want them to to look like white ceramic um I have to tell them that I have to tell myself that I that I chose this and I want this so in your discomfort you have to say I chose this I want this um like especially especially when it's something you're like don't really want to do but you I guess have to do I don't have to do anything I didn't go to the dentist for 10 years. Like, I don't have to do anything. But, um, I have my mouth open all the time. I laugh like a big old cackle. I, uh, you know, like, whatever. I'll just get it done while I have dental. Because I, that's, that was also the reason I didn't go to the dentist. I didn't have dental insurance. Um, so anyways, that's my day. And then I'm going to ladies night. So, I, quarantine's officially, <clears throat> officially over for me in my world. I'm going to ladies' night tonight. You know, you know I'm going to have a drink in the, because I'll probably have a headache. And, you know, just because I love irony, I've been complaining about alcoholics all week, so I'm going to go get drunk. <laughs> no, I'll probably have, like, two drinks. And that will be plenty for me. Plenty. Um, then this weekend, um, hanging out with my family, they, they have given the thumbs up to get together. The more, the merrier, the more, the merrier is what my aunt said. So I feel like people are just done, done, da done, done, done with whatever is going on. So anyways, I'm just throwing cards around. How are you doing? Today we're going to hang out with the trees. Today we're going to hang out with our tree guides. Um, And ask them what they want to talk about. Because all I've got, like, literally is um, talking about my teeth. Talking about, I don't know, aliens, um, extraterrestrials. I could talk about that. uh, (laughs) But not really. Like, it's funny. It's fun for me to pull oracle cards. Because I, I bring more energy into me than I have normally. I'm really not that interesting of a person. That's why I'm an oracle reader. (laughs) That was a good one. (laughs) So, um, I'm really not that interesting of a person. That's why I'm an oracle reader. Because then I bring in other energies, not my own. 
and I just be the I just be the microphone, right? So, anyways, uh, before we do get started with our tree guides, though, I just want to shout out to our herb of the week, parsley. Um, I'm trying to pay attention to the affirmations that I printed out and put on the fridge. You can always find the affirmations on the Herbal Marie Patreon page or by going to herbalmarie.com, clicking on the Herb Oracle menu link tab across the top, and uh, that has all our Herb of the Weeks. So all the affirmations are available to you. I just have them stored and downloaded on Patreon, so you might have to sign up for an account there, but you can do that for free or you can be my patron and give and actually give me a dollar a month I know um, so anyways I feel love is the first one that's important that is important so we're gonna we're gonna do our affirmations and then we'll talk to the trees I create unity within by healing the divine mother and father that's a big theme this week with parsley I welcome the ending of the old energies and let them go so parsley did have the death card one of the cards was death and yeah we need to let go of these old ass energies that aren't serving us anymore like welcome the ending like hey what's up i see you're about done and i'm welcome welcome to your ending party welcome to the death of you and i'm gonna let you go now parsley is all about attraction so i manifest magical opportunities and create beauty through loving allowance for myself and others for others and myself so when I feel love when you feel love we attract love so if you're feeling magical you're going to attract magical if if we're feeling joy we're going to attract really good experiences if we're feeling bitter resentful hate guess what we're gonna attract <laughs> so it really sucks for me that like I really feel so much dread today and I'm like just go to the dentist because that's your vibrational match but <clears throat> it's like well which caught which caused it like who's causing this point of attraction but so the quicker I can clean up my energy today the better and just surrender to this 3d reality that includes the dentist and you know it's like just do it and be done with it and hopefully it doesn't like they don't just always find something to drill in your mouth but if they do that's part of I guess having a body I really really wanted to see if they would heal themselves and go away I was hoping for that um, they don't bother me like I said I could just keep on living with my dark teeth but I might be happy with it. I don't know. I got to be open, I guess, since I'm going. Last affirmation that we're going to do right now is I empower with light. Ooh, feel, feel how good that feels. I empower with light. So as I'm sitting there having my mouth wide open and chemicals put in my mouth, <laughs> I should fill myself with light and envision myself as a light body that, that this physical meat suit flesh is not me. These are just the teeth. This is just getting my car fixed, right? Like my teeth got kind of dingy. I'm just going to go. It's like your body's your vehicle. Just go get it polished up. Go get it fixed up. Go get it tuned up. Um, and then keep on riding. So I empower with light the energy needed to bring forth what I claim. And what do you want to claim this week? Sovereignty, love, joy, magical opportunities, abundance, friendship. That's what we manifested more of yesterday. That was a good podcast. Um, claim your sovereignty. Sovereignty. Claim your freedom. Claim your independence. That's why everybody I know is just doing whatever the F they want. Because we are free, sovereign beings. I was talking to a beautiful man in Brazil. <laughs> and he's in total lockdown. And he's like, what do you mean you're just doing, going wherever you want? I said, um, because we're America. Because that's how we do it in Pennsylvania. Welcome to America. Like, we're going to, if we're done with this, we're getting together and we're, we're having a barbecue. 
<laughs> and he was just like, huh? You know, it's like people need to wake up and decide that they want to be free sovereign beings and then claim it and empower yourself with light. This affirmation minute is brought to you by our delightful herb of the week, parsley. And I dedicate them lovingly all to you. I feel love. I create unity within by healing the divine mother and father. I welcome the ending of the old energies and let them go. I manifest magical opportunities and create beauty through loving allowance for others and myself. I empower with light the energy needed to bring forth what I claim. I feel love. I create unity within by healing the Divine Mother and Father. I welcome the ending of the old energies and let them go. I manifest magical opportunities and create beauty through loving allowance for others and myself. I empower with light the energy needed to bring forth what I claim. And so it is. Okay, so empower yourself with light. Have a barbecue. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do and say what you want to say, yeah. <laughs> Come on and be my light. Come on and lead the way, yeah. <laughs> then the next part of that song's funny. The people speak, I hear them say, you won't last another day. <laughs> That's a good song. All right, uh, I've shuffled and shuffled and shuffled again. I tried to do that without being close to the microphone. I mean, some people like to shuffle in your ear so that they sound cool, but you guys already know I'm cool, so. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting day for me. Like, my ego personality is like just completely wigging out because, you know, it's like doing things it doesn't wanna do. So I think what I'm gonna try to trick myself is to really have as much fun as I can with this today. Like, I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna put my blue jeans, I'm gonna put on my black he heel boots, and I'm gonna like literally go to the dentist. I might even put on eyeliner and mascara. I might like literally, I'm going to the dentist for fun. Okay, now I feel like these are definitely plenty, plenty shuffled. And now we come to our Thursday question. Tree guides, we love you so much. What do you want to talk about today? I'll put my cards up to my heart. I'm open to talking about whatever the trees want to talk about. Do they want to talk about the chemtrails that I see in our beautiful blue sky? It won't be blue for much longer, Pennsylvania. Pull your heads out of your asses and look up and start to not be okay with this. Like we would be having so much nicer weather if they weren't spraying lines in the sky all goddamn day. All right, on that note, <laughs> our first card has fluttered out of the deck. Okay, our first two cards, there was, wow, that was a really light fluttering for two cards. And I just saw 202 and then 212. And our two cards, oh, is this like always gonna be our topic? <laughs> We have the fourth heart chakra heart center and we have balance reversed. So our heart chakras are not in balance. And I clearly was actually humorously demonstrating that because, you know, I'm like beautiful blue skies, shitty white lines. Like I can't stay in love. I'm having a difficult time and so are most people staying in love. It's like, oh, I just love every, you know, like I'm like loving life. And then like, it's like that meme that you're like, I love everybody and I love being outside and use your turn signal, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's like how quickly we like shift out of love. And because maybe, you know, we're a little bit in, there's a lack of balance. Uh, I'm not saying that our heart chakra is out of balance because like it's probably 
either it's either opened or closed but like maybe it's like actually our mental state that's out of balance that's really just opening closing opening closing like you know what i mean like our heart chakra is getting a good spin on it and then yeah we just slam the brakes on it because we get annoyed and we step out of love so when i look up at that literally white line going across the sky and it's not alone they're gr they're gonna grid it up today and that blue sky is gonna be white like i literally want to shoot those planes down out of the sky because i do not i do not consent so it's like i guess like my guys are whispering yeah you need to claim that you are you know what i mean this is your earth well it's not really ours but we live here <laughs> And we don't want that anymore. We declare we want our skies to be untampered with. We want blue skies, not white overcast skies that are chemically induced. We want blue skies and we want them left alone. We want them left. I mean, the airports, are they even open yet? Are they even... No, those are chemtrail planes. This whole time that like the airports have been closed, guess what? Chemtrail pilots, they still get off the ground and they're still fucking with our skies. All right, so this is what the trees wanna talk about. The fact that like, I'm not in love right now when I'm being a bitch and neither are you. And um, when we, do we want love in our life? Because it's like, we have to really commit to that. And that almost means like, all right, well, you're going to have to look away from a lot of stuff maybe to feel that love and not talk about politics and, um, you know, not criticize people and not judge yourself. And so anyways, there's this big old message of the heart chakra flew out in balance upside down. Now that is really sad to me because... <laughs> We've been like talking so much about balancing our energies. We want to create unity within by healing the divine mother and father. That means balancing our masculine and feminine energies. And here we do. Here we got the the, the um the balance card reversed. All right, I'm going to shuffle this deck again though and see if there's any other soul trees that want to come out like do you want to elaborate on this topic or should I just go to the next deck do you want to elaborate on our heart chakra maybe okay let's see what's on the top and bottom on the top we have belief upside down we're not believing and on the bottom holy crap we have intuition reversed okay so I'm gonna put these like in a four square actually. All right, so yes, the trees are like, yeah, we can elaborate on that, you dumbass. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> I'm getting drunk before the dentist. No, I'm not you guys, but it's not a bad idea. All right, so. <laughs> It is 9-11. It's an inside job. Okay, just like the towers. All right, see what I mean? How am I supposed to get in love with life when like I'm constantly pointing out all the injustices, the wrongdoings, um, the scandals? Like, you know, it's just kind of funny for me. All right, so here's what's beautiful though. This is all indigo, violet, and green. So intuition is a real dark indigo tree. There's a blue background for the believe tree. It's a white tree. There's purple indigo and balance. Now the heart chakra, it's green and white. And like there's the green grass and believe and there's tiny little green buds on the balance tree. So it just, they look good together. That's the good news that these cards are pretty together. Um, but here's what the here's what we're being shown by our tree guides right away that it is so important right now for us to get into our heart space yeah do our healing work and open ourselves up and balance our chakras and open our chakra and get it getting it spinning like a good little chakra does 
Um, but yeah, we're struggling with that balance and we're struggling with believe. Do we believe that a beautiful life is possible? Do we believe in love? Like big love, universal love, unconditional love, love inside you all the time. Do you believe that you're capable of being a loving being? Well, I mean, me, I mean, I, I struggle with it because I know I'm an asshole. But it's like, um, so yeah, it's like whenever I think about a new, new earth, new world full of love and based on love and equality, I kind of like question whether I'm going to be able to go there. I mean, I'm doing a lot of work and helping a lot of people try to get there. But at the end of the day, am I going to be allowed there? <laughs> I don't know. So the other one is that's upside down is intuition. It's like we're still being so mental, so intellectual. We're using our minds instead of our hearts. So I, I saved this cool picture and I deleted it, of course, because I was like, why do I have this picture on my phone? I keep trying to like get my pictures under 4,000. <laughs> like, I'm like, what are all these pictures of? Okay, so anyways, there was this one picture that was two heads, like silhouette illustrations of uh, like a profile head. And one of the heads had a brain in it and the other one had a big red heart. And it's like, we're still being like too like thinky thinky, you know, and nerdy nerdy, which there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. I love being an herb nerd. Um, but it's like, we do have to balance at least, right? And start thinking from our higher heart and um, from a loving perspective and in an, a feminine energy and intuitive perspective. So yeah, it's not like we wanna completely throw out our logic, our masculine energies. We still wanna be able to like function and get things done, but we are not in balance. We're just not. Um, we're still being too harsh. We're still being um, too judgmental and logical and we're not believing in the magic and we're not believing in our intuition. And yeah, in a lot of ways, we're not even believing that we're capable of stepping into this heart-centered truth. We get a little taste of it, a little bit of it, and we like it, but then it's like we go right back to being a dickhead. All right, so that's what the trees, I think, want to talk about today. Let's bring out the Wisdom of Trees Oracle and see um, what trees want to come through um, to help us maybe feel more love, just like Parsley is trying to get us to do this week. I feel love. I am the love. I am the light. I am the truth. I am. Say those affirmations more. Maybe that will help get us a balanced help get us remembering, help get getting us tapped into that intuition more and more and more. Believing in our intuition. Your hunches are for real, honey. Your gut feelings are important. They matter. Your visions, your daydreams, your belief, your things that just pop into your awareness. As I see 11.55 on the timer, they matter. All right, so got tons of room everywhere because I have these all in a, a rectangle. So, uh, I mean, what trees would like to come out? We've got one on my hand. <laughs> Literally, it jumped up and it is like, you know what? I'm going to take a picture for you and I'll put it on Herb um, Oracle, the Instagram. You're not, it jumped up and landed on the top of my hand. Like, I'm going to have to, hold on, I'll take a picture. It's just, actually, this is a dumb picture. I'm not putting that. <laughs> I didn't realize I looked like I just got up. All right. So the Indian bean is coming in. Was that reversed? The way I grabbed it, it did look, it actually did look reversed. And then I flipped it over. So I'm not going to be a liar. It is reversed. I'm going to put Indian bean on the right side there. And kind of just grab the book. I might just do this one card. Maybe. I don't need to do a hundred fucking cards today. <laughs> See what I mean? It's going to be, I feel totally imbalanced today. I guess that's our topic. Indian bean is all about vitality though. 
we just got this one, didn't we? We just got this one. Okay, so this is just another message. Our ha we got this a couple weeks ago, maybe even last week or the week before, but it was a message about vitality and um, regaining our vitality and getting our energy back, which I feel like I have a lot compared to how tired I was last week. Yeah, we're doing okay this week. Um, but the trees just want to remind us of um, don't look overlook the obvious and simple ways of healing yourself. So are you drinking enough water? Are you getting a little bit of exercise movement? Are you getting fresh air? What kind of foods are you eating? Are you even eating? I really have not had a, that great of an appetite. So don't overlook the simple ways that you can obviously heal yourself. Ensure that you have plenty of rest and sleep and find time to prepare and eat wholesome natural foods regardless of how busy you may be. So really most of us have not been busy but as like everything is lifted and people are like, we're done with quarantine because we're bored, <laughs> you might get busier. Make sure you still keep taking care of yourself. Now the sweet little flowers, they're white and lavender or lilac. They match the balance tree. Perfect. Like they coordinate well. There's green. So it really is so beautiful. Um, absolutely. And um, what else can I tell you real quick? Just one of the best ways to heal yourself at the moment is to embrace every day with enthusiasm and do everything you can every, do everything you can to get the most benefit from it. Treat people you meet with respect and an open heart. So there, the trees just settled me down and I think I'm going to do the top and bottom. Since this card jumped out, I'm going to honor the top and the bottom of the deck. We'll just see who's there, get a quick little message. But yeah, everything we need to do, the Indian bean, the Indian bean is saying you've got to treat everybody with respect and an open heart. So you've got, open heart is definitely our theme from the tree guides today. Um, and yeah, these are beautiful trees. They plant them, they plant the Indian bean tree in parks just because its flowers are so prolific in the summer. They're so beautiful. Um, they don't actually have beans, but the seed pods look like them. They're not beans though. And uh, the, the wood is sometimes used to make guitars. So that's kind of fun. Um, people call this tree the Catalpa, Catalpa, and it's actually not even from India. It's native to the southeastern United States. <laughs> so this tree's a freaking liar. I'm just kidding, <laughs> but that's okay. It's allowed to. All right, now I'm just gonna put the top card on the top of the Indian bean and the bottom card on the bottom of the Indian bean. And so this is actually not gonna look very balanced because I have three cards on top of each other on the right side and I guess I'll put our Celtic tree on the left side but as far as being symmetrical it's not going to look symmetrical however they're telling me that it doesn't have to look the same it can still be balanced without looking symmetrical so there's some little message there that it's like we can still have a very balanced experience Ooh, all these cards are smashed together I just realized um so it's like Maybe like, maybe that's a secret message of unity or coming together or if we stick together, like we can still be balanced. We can still like float on the river of life as like, you know, one big raft kind of, it's kind of feels like it's getting this raft feeling. Like if we all, even in individual tubes, our, un, our unitubes are, you know, like a floaty tube, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We can tie them together, but this is even more than that. This is like just one big raft. Okay, so on the top of the Indian bean is the banyan tree, and that's that really awesome tree that is, I believe, from India, um, and it sends down those aerial roots, so one tree can actually cover like an acre. 
We have, we've gotten this a lot and it's a place for people to get shade and play and come together. The animals, you know, it's like this tree creates its own community. It's not just one tree. It, it spreads. It is incredibly unique and awesome. So yeah, I feel like the trees are with how everything's, I've got everything smashed together today. They want us to come together. They want us the more the merrier too. They want us to be hanging out. Um, with an open heart and respect for each other. Now the Eastern Cottonwood is the only tree on the card. That's underneath the Indian bean. What's really cool about that, it's got blue and red and orangish ribbons tied in the tree. And it looks like a really hazy sunrise maybe. Like the chemtrail pilots were already up before the sun is already so hazy. Either that or so humid if they have the day off. Ooh, I hate them. Do you feel it? See, I mean, I, I got to figure that out because that's not a good point of attraction. Banyan is all about anchoring. And the eastern cottonwood is all about connection. connection. So anchoring connection. And um, yeah, so get your vitality back so that you can come together and anchor some connection. And now Banyan tree is, and Cottonwood, Eastern Cottonwood are upright. So they're the only two upright trees that go along with the heart chakra, the heart center, the fourth chakra. So if you want to have an open heart, love and respect, you've got to anchor in some connection. Anchor in your connection to humanity. Anchor in your connection to the earth. Anchor in your light. As Parsley chimes in, empower with light and use it to anchor and connect. So Banyan tree is, is the tree that reminds us that people, someone maybe specifically, might need your emotional, moral, or physical support even though they may not admit it. So gently let the people in your life know that you are ready to help them if they wish. Now, of course, don't encourage them to become dependent on you. But as you are being the beacon of light, as you are showing people how to have a spiritual journey, as you are showing people how to open up your heart and heal your body and have more vitality and feel good and have more love and joy and light and all that happy shit, you're being the example to them and you can let them know like hey i'm more than happy to have tea with you and tell you the things i've been journaling and working on and you know but you don't need to be their guru um you don't need you don't need to uh, for them to get dependent on you or nothing like that don't let your ego let that happen egos will let that happen so it's not it's like help them but don't don't do the work for them but assist people if you can. Now, that comes in with Eastern Cottonwood that says connection, right? So this is a good time to connect with people, be open to people, let people know that you're willing to share all your secrets. There is no division. This is what Eastern Cottonwood says. There is no division between you and all the other beings in the world whether you consider them to be living creatures or inert things, learn to connect with them, to appreciate and understand them, and to honor them. So it's like it's time to start seeing this reality as one big blob of energy, and you are connected to absolutely all of it. There's no escaping it. That's why, that is why all these cards are smashed together because it doesn't matter if you're on one side of the raft or in somebody's on the far other corner, you guys are still connected and you guys are connected to the raft and the water that the raft is on and the water and the earth that the water is held by. You're connected to the earth. You're connected to everything. So there actually is no separation when it comes to energy. There are no borders and boundaries and lines and divisions and doors. There is actually zero se separation. We are the all one. 
the one is the all, the all is the one. You know, like we're actually all connected energetically. Our egos believe in separation. Our bodies are a demonstration of that belief. But actually, and we see ourselves as separate, but we're actually not. So Eastern Cottonwood is saying um, it's time for you to see yourself connected. If your ego's been trying to get you to believe you're isolated and alienated and disconnected from everybody and you're lonely, that's bullshit. You could never be alone. You have guides surrounding you all the time. You're connected to the to the chair you're sitting on for fuck's sake. <laughs> like you're not alone. There's energy everywhere. You are energy. So start to see your energy projected out into everything. Start to see the energy of everything flowing into you. When you look at that tree, don't see that tree separate, they say. So they're like we are connected. Our energies are are just ooh, flowing and and swirling and zooming and circling, circulating in and out of each other as one. So it's like, yeah, see with different eyes as much as you can. And that will help you open up your heart too. That will help, help you open up your heart because you won't look at somebody as being separate than you. You'll see that you're all in the same pot of soup. You know, you're all in the same like energy. Um, yeah, it's just all the same. And then you'll have more compassion for them because it's like they're part of this experience too. They're just part of the energy and you're the energy. We are the energy. We're energy. We're in this together. So yeah, this heartache and loneliness that you may have had, it's time, you know, to understand that and remember that you are an essential part of the world and that we are all connected at an energetic level. So energetically, you're connected to everything, the trees, the rocks, the sky, the buildings, like everything. I don't really like thinking that I'm like connected to the building either, <laughs> like the inert objects, but like energetically, that's just an energetic manifestation representation like everything is just the same energy being displayed in creative ways so now you have to understand you are also part of that and you are essential and you are connected to it so the eastern cottonwood deva says i have great wisdom the rustling of my leaves means that i am in continual communication with the supreme being let me show you how to become as one with the world around you so that everyone can benefit from your blessing so yeah are you cursing or are you blessing if we're if we're looking at what we don't like we actually are cursing um, so get into that state of I am connected with everything and then you can, yeah, feel that love, feel that connection, feel that oneness and start offering blessings out. Put out, you have control of what energy you're putting out into the world. Are you cursing or are you blessing? So yeah, really, really interesting. The cottonwood leaves are used to treat inflammation and to relieve pain. And steam from a decoction of the bark, stems, and leaves can cure snake bites. So now that connection, let's go back to Banyan and see what the Banyan Deva says. She says, I can teach you how to anchor yourself within the world to increase your sense of being grounded. I have given shelter to people for thousands of years so that man, plants, and other living creatures can all survive together. So yeah, we have to start just seeing that we are part of nature, not separate. We are part of, yeah, just we're all in this together. Um, the inverse message of Banyan, I'm just going to read it because um, I'm curious about it. Are you clinging on to something that feels safe 
more because you are alarmed at the thought of being without it because it gives you pleasure. Try to avoid holding on to people, possessions, or situations for fear of losing them. Okay, so it's like you can't ever lose anything because you're always connected to it. So it's like if people need to go off and on their own path, it's like you can still be connected to them. If people transition into the non-physical, aka die, croak, death, you're still connected to them. Like that is just an illusion. They haven't really hardly gone anywhere. <laughs> we just can't see them. But energetically, we're still connected to them. Where'd that Indian bean go? Let me see the Indian bean here real quick. Um, and just see what her deva says. My beautiful trumpet-shaped flowers greet the sun in the summer. And in the autumn, I show off my seed pods. Let me teach you how to make the most of your many talents and attributes so you can regain your vitality. So yeah, as we feel connected, as we anchor in, as we get grounded, as we're just part of it all, we're just happy to be here, we're excited to be a part of it. It's life, we're in this together. Um, we're all connected now. You are important. You are essential. Now let your light shine and be the unique energy um, spark that you are. So we're all energy and it's all part of the one, but there are different swirling energies within this energy. It's like the same energy, but you can put your own spin on it. So it's like start to get enthusiastic about what you do, right? Yes, treat everybody with respect and you know open heart and take care of yourself but also remember to make the most of your many talents and attributes like what are you bringing to the soup pot how are you adding to this energy who what is tap into your energy tap into what you're experiencing and you know share that with everybody and really utilize your talents now and be be the tree that you be, be the, be the energy that you be. All right, you ready for a Celtic? I know I am. All right, so open up your heart, connect to everything, ground your energy, be part of it all, and really enjoy yourself. Really just start to live your life and be part of it. Be part of the big party under the banyan tree. Or just do your thing. Maybe you just want to read. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so I'm shuffling the Celtic um, trees now. And three, no, I'm not doing three trees. Okay, we'll do this one. <laughs> I was like, no, just pick one. Um, three fell out and I shoved them back in real quick. And then one, my finger um, snagged on honeysuckle reversed so I guess that's our tree that was a little confusing but um like my free will is saying I'm not reading three trees all right 23 is the one that we are going to balance out okay so I have just one Celtic tree the honeysuckle reversed it is so lit looking but it is reversed so we're gonna see what she has to say. So it kind of almost makes, we almost have like a sideways pyramid looking raft now, um, you know, which is kind of cool actually, because even though like a pyramid, yeah, a pyramid, oh my gosh, like if we did slice it, you know, I'm always thinking like vertical left and right, but if I sliced it across the equator, horizontally it would be symmetrical top and bottom as above so below oh that's fun because I wasn't thinking about th that it would look symmetrical that way all right so anyways we are we now have a balanced raft raft a balanced layout even though I didn't think it was gonna be symmetrical it doesn't have to be but but it is so even on its side looking um, like this it is definitely feeling balanced so the honeysuckle number 23 two plus three is 
five. So good energy of change here. Like we do want to change up our energy from, you know, feeling separation, aloneness, not connected. We want to change that now. We, we don't want to be in, um, people who don't believe in energy. Those people are very asleep and we must have compassion for them. But I think we're all at the point now where like we've read all the laws of the universe, right? That's what we did last year together. Um, we're understanding that what we put out, we get back. We're definitely feeling how like the interconnectedness of it, it's just, it's getting so obvious. So we really can now change our beliefs into something more solid, something more that we can count on. Like we can really believe in our hearts and our intuition and the value of balanced energy. So like I'm sort of seeing now like women who are like such men haters and with good reason, I'm not saying men have completely been terrible for thousands of years. But it's like, we can't keep hating men in general and expect to balance out that divine feminine and divine masculine, right? And give them an opportunity to step into their heart spaces and open up to their own intuition and their own balance, balancing of energies. So we need to like really start to see like everyone as someone that we wanna help and what's the best way to help them with our energy that we put out? You know, our good intentions, our blessings. So quit cursing um, the whole male species, you know what I mean? Um, and start to believe in their potential of balance and start to believe that they can come into their intuitive feminine energies while still, you know, ba while balancing out that masculine energy that's been an imbalance for so long. So yeah, I love that like, you know, the Eastern Cottonwood, it's always in communication with spirit and the great source. And that's, you know, where we need to be. Even if we are the only tree in the field, we're not alone, we're communicating with our higher selves and source and God and the angels and everyone's energy it can connect to everyone's energy the banyan tree asking us come, to come together now there's a lot of beautiful messages that i'm looking at here so we'll see what honeysuckle says i feel like we got this before one time i don't know if we got it reversed or not but the honeysuckle is all <clears throat> about seeking hidden secrets the lantern that lights the path so that's cool that it's at the top here. Like, and you could almost see this layout moving towards the left. Like, oh my God, it kind of looks like a triangle spaceship. <laughs> um, the lantern that lights the path, the need to protect something important. It could be about soul discovery, bringing light to the darkness. Bringing light to the darkness, finding hidden treasure, illumination, clarity, restoration, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So that truly is what the trees are trying to show you. Like once you open up your heart chakra, you're more loving, you're respectful, you're balanced, you're intuitive, you have beautiful belief systems, you feel connected to everybody, um, you're part of it all, you know you're unconditionally loved, you guys are unity, you're in unity now, unity consciousness, you're all connected. That is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow that literally we're gonna receive once we bring the light to the darkness. So keep on being the lantern that lights the path. Keep sight of that lantern lighting your path. Be it, if you can be it and stay focused and connected to the light at all times. So this is the hummingbird energy. Um, hummingbirds, moths, bees, <laughs> that is hilarious. Hummingbirds, moths, and bees, the labyrinth, DNA, peewit, I don't know what that is, lapwing, I don't know what that is, maybe a bug, and the deities and guides that come along with this are Merlin, 
the crone or hermit archetype, medicine, man or woman. So yeah, this honeysuckle is representing hidden secrets that we are meant to discover through our heart center, I would say, is what the trees are trying to say. The winding ways of this vine, it's a vine, represent the labyrinth and the pathway into the inner life. The hermit or ancient medicine woman holds the lantern for us as we make our way into ourselves. So, and I just pulled um, a roomy card last night or the night before for myself. And um, was that just yesterday? My God, that seems like a long time ago now. But anyways, it was encouraging us to connect with our inner soul sister, like who is lighting the way for us, who can see from higher ground and gives us the intuitive nudges and ideas and inspirations and wants us to act a little bit more wild and free and happy and joyous. Um, but yeah, she's holding the lantern. So whether we are using our medicine woman, our soul sister, our hermit archetype, like let them hold the lantern for you. You know, it's like, and you'll be that, you'll be that archetype too for someone else that's just starting their path and is just noticing how they are surrounded by darkness. You holding that one single light can literally save them and show them that there is another way and that they can begin the journey. So yeah, there is a great store of treasure and knowledge for us to discover if we will just but begin the journey. We are encouraged to heal that which has been denied or repressed, as always, right? <laughs> That's like every day we pull a card. It's like, do your healing work. Um, especially stuff that we've really shoved down deep in there. <clears throat> we are invited to proceed with caution and enlist our spiritual helpers so that they can light the darkness and illuminate the path of enlightenment. So we really do need to call on our guides now, invite the angels, give our, our um, benevolent spiritual helpers permission to interact with us, to guide us, to show us the way so let's go to the reversed meaning though <clears throat> because we got one two three four five of these cards reversed upside down inversed only the heart center the banyan and cotton word are upright so we definitely are getting an inversed message from the trees today so just brace yourself they might be honest with us. Reversed. Honeysuckle indicates insecurity. This is a state of mind that must be addressed. True insecurity has nothing to do with failure or success in the world, but with recognizing your true nature which is already perfect and whole. If you are feeling less than, it is time for prayer and inner renewal. So it is time for prayer or inner renewal if you are feeling less than, if you are feeling insecure. So who doesn't have insecure issues or feeling insecurities? And it's because we have yet to recognize our true nature which is already perfect and whole. If you feel burned out or lost, circle around again into yourself. So we did get that Indian being reversed, which means we need to get our vitality back. We're not feeling as, as energetic as we could. Um, so make sure we're circling around again into ourself. We're, we're kind of we we're keep on redepositing our energy back into ourself, circulating it within our being to try to get ourselves pumped up a little bit. Take a class 
or seek a spiritual teacher or choose books that remind you of who you truly are. If you have lost track of your inner life, it is time for inner reflection. If you are afraid to begin the journey of self-knowledge, work with someone, work with a therapist, a healer, or a coach at the start. Turn the corner on old stories, habitual negative patterns, and unhealthy programming. So it's time for us to flip the script. And yeah, I mentioned a couple times how I'm gonna trick myself today. <laughs> I'm gonna flip the script, right? I'm tired of being scared to walk into a dentist office. I took my daughter yesterday, no, Tuesday, to the orthodontist for a consultation. And I literally was sweating bullets and so anxious. And I was like, this isn't even my appointment. We're not doing anything today. Like she actually wants to be here. But yet this old story, this old program that I have that I'm petrified of the dentist needs to be rewritten. Okay, it's like there's nothing I can do about this stupid shit. So I need to not torture myself anymore. I need to do my healing work. Yeah, I had some bad experiences a couple times at a dentist. I had like my body had a negative reaction to the Novocaine. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack, but here he put the needle in my gum too deep and like put, basically put it into my bloodstream. Like it wasn't really me, you know what I mean? I did have that experience, but it's not gonna happen again. And if it does, I'll know what's going on. Um, and I got my first period at the dentist, which is hilarious hilarious because I'm having a heavy flow day today. Like just so you know, Sadie TMI Cherico. Like I'm going to the dentist and totally like on my second day heavy flow. Just to have more fun today. <laughs> so I definitely have a lot of energetic ties and beliefs with the dentist. It's funny. But it's like these old stories and habitual negative patterns and unhealthy programming is start to turn the it's time to turn the corner. Flip the the switch, rewrite the script, change your belief systems, balance this out for yourself. And I'm just using myself as an example, but this can be with anything. This can be with any negative thing you got going on in your life. This can be be about relationships. This can be about that negative script that you're isolated and alone and nobody cares about you. <laughs> Sound familiar? It's mine too. <laughs> like we have to actually stop it now. We have to understand that we're, we're ready to let it go. Just like Parsley says, I welcome the ending of this. I release it now. We're gonna release this old stuff. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, this podcast is gonna change y'all. We're gonna get all positive. No, we are positive, but like, I think it's going to become damn near impossible now. Like as we start these old stories, like as soon as like, like I come back and I'm like, oh, hey, you guys, nobody gives a shit about me. It's like not even going to be acceptable anymore. You're just gonna be like enough of that. I'm gonna be like, okay, this is silly. I'm starting to see that like, this is just an old program. And it's not even going to be comfortable anymore to keep on playing out these old stories. So it really, really is time now to flip the switch. And that means getting out of our heads and getting into our hearts, into a balanced situation. That means listening to our intuition just as much as we listen to our intellect, getting into a balanced situation. And yeah, believing that, that it is possible. So let's, let's get the beautiful attunement message from Honeysuckle now that she does want us to rewrite. She, the Honeysuckle really does want us to flip the switch on our insecurities, understand that like, these are just stories that we've convinced ourselves. Um, and the more we step into our lighted heart space, understanding we are part of the great consciousness, the great spirit, when we understand and remember who we truly are, 
it will be so easy to discard those old stories because we understand our inherent worthiness and truly how essential to creation we are. We are included. We are part of creation. You are valid because you are part of the all. So that story that you tell yourself of insecurity is a false narrative and it's an old program and it is definitely ready to be left go. So let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. I am the honeysuckle and I offer you the lovely scent of my flowers. I attract beauty and offer sweet nectar for the hummingbirds and the bees. I am here to remind you of your own sweetness and your own ability to attract good things into your life. You attract beauty when you choose beautiful thoughts, when you choose beautiful feelings, when you choose beautiful actions, when you choose beautiful activities. You are growing new things. Allow yourself to develop naturally. Cultivate your inner garden with seeds of love and intention. Follow the spiraling pattern that I create as I grow and know that this is how you too grow. Follow the spiral into your center and out again. What is hidden can be found. Pay attention to synchronicities and dreams. These are your allies in discovering your own inner knowing and true essence. At the center of your heart lie desires and dreams and aspirations. Great treasure is available within you. Bring these inner resources to the light so they can be shared. Bring them forward for activation. They hold the secret to your soul's purpose and your spiritual journey. Woo! <laughs> That felt so good. Bring your gifts to the light. They are being activated now. Your inner treasures are just waiting for you to spiral down and then spiral back out. Keep on recycling that energy within you. Spiral in, spiral out, spiral in, spiral out. And keep bringing your treasures, your talents, your energies, your love to the light to be activated. It can only grow more and more and more at this point on. I am like blown away. That feels so good. So bring your treasures to the light to be activated. Bring your love to the light. Be the light. Be the light. Be the love. Be the truth. Be you. That is who you are. Open up those freaking heart centers. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me in the trees. I'm literally speechless and just like straight up happy and joyful. It feels really, 
really good. So I'm going to take this energy to the mother truck and dentist, you guys. Wish me luck. We'll hang out tomorrow and um, get some messages from the flowers. Dang, so much love to you. It's easy to love you because I know we're all connected. I love you. Thank you so much.